This video will discuss the patron record in Sitka Evergreen. There are two ways to search for patrons in Evergreen. First, you can search for a patron by the barcode. Select search, which search for patron by barcode. Alternatively, you can press the checkout button on your toolbar or use keyboard shortcut F1. Scan the patron barcode and it will automatically retrieve the patron account. This is the rec recommended method if you have the patron's barcode. It is faster and can retrieve any accounts from any Sitka library. Additionally, you can search for patrons using the patron search function. Click on search, search for patrons, or you can select the patron search button from the toolbar, or you can use keyboard shortcut F4. Here you can search for patrons by their name or other identifier. You can enter multiple search terms and you can enter uh, partial search terms. Click on search and you will be given a list of matching patron records. Highlight one of the search results to display the patron summary. The patron summary will display on the left hand side of the screen. The account status is indicated by color code. Um, in this instance, orange means that there's fines or overdues that are not exceeding the max. Green means everything is in order. For a complete list of color code meanings, please see the Sitka Evergreen training manual. Now, additionally, in the patron summary, you can see um, account status information, activity. Um, you'll see circulation summaries, such as how many uh, items the patron has on hold, what bills they have, and any items checked out or overdue. Down at the bottom here, you will see ID and contact information. Um, also, you will see any patron statistical categories if you choose to display patron statistical categories in your patron summary. This is a choice in the library settings editor. To retrieve the patron account, highlight the patron and click retrieve patron or double click on the line. If any patron alerts are displayed at this point, simply click any of the other tab options to bypass the alert message. By default, if there are no alert messages, the patron record will open on the checkout screen. Simply scan the item barcode and click submit to check out an item to this patron. Clicking done will take you back to the patron barcode search screen. The next tab in the patron record is the items out tab. This is where you can view the items the patron currently has checked out. You'll click on the Actions button to see a list of available actions. Here you can renew items, mark items lost, print item receipts, and much more. Notice that items in red are overdue. Next we have the Holds tab. Here you can view the items the patron currently has on hold. Again, click the Actions button to see a list of available actions. Holds can be cancelled at any time. Before holds are captured, you can suspend them or set them as inactive for a period of time without losing the hold queue position. You can also place new holds for the patron by clicking the Place Hold button. Next we have the Bills tab. There are two types of bills in Sitka Evergreen, circulation bills and grocery bills. Circulation bills are system generated, including overdue fines, lost lost item cost and processing fees. Grocery bills are manually created by staff. And they're usually for things such as lost cards or any other fees that the library may charge. Here you can view any bills the patron may have or create a new grocery bill. To view patron's bill history, click history. To create a new bill, click bill patron. Next we have the edit tab. Here you can edit the patron record to update the patron's contact information. You can renew an expired library card or reset the patron's password. Simply make any changes required on this screen and hit save. After that we'll have the messages tab. System generated alerts are automatically inserted on some conditions, such as the patron has a ready for, hold, for pick up hold. Once the cause is resolved, example if the patron has checked out the on hold item, these messages will disappear, disappear automatically. Standing penalties are inserted when a patron's circulation condition meets certain criteria set up by your library, example the maximum overdue threshold. Standing penalties block some of the patron's circulation activities. For example, if a patron has a standing penalty of exceeding maximum number of overdue items, the patron cannot check out more items before returning or renewing the overdue items. Standing penalties automatically disappear once the cause is resolved. 
staff generated notes will not disappear until deleted. Thank you for watching this video and for more information please visit the BC Libraries Cooperative website.